guys. Uh, so today I'm going to take you through the process of uh, replacing the dipstick tube. So this is on uh, an Audi TT uh, 180T uh, BAM engine, BAM. Um, very similar process to all the other kind of Volkswagen Group uh, vehicles. Um, tend to uh, uh, break up and um, uh, snap these dipstick tubes are quite common. They're quite brittle, particularly uh, on, on engines which have done a, a bit of mileage. So I'm just going to run you through that process. Uh, so yeah, enjoy. Remove these screws in here. Now you can just use a little Phillips screw. I've already got these undone already. Uh, there is a little Phillips screw in the end of these which you can just about get onto. Unscrew those and this trim comes off. Uh, and the next bit then is you need to take this metal plate off which is attached to your dipstick tube and the likelihood is you'll break your dipstick tube when you do this um, I've broken this one so I've just got a new one yeah, it doesn't cost a lot to be honest so I've got a new brand new dipstick tube to put on there later so I'll make another video uh, for doing that <coughs> um, next part then is just pop this clip off easiest way to do these uh, clips on any Volkswagen Group vehicle really is to push it in first and then get your thumb and just pull back on that clip and then put it back nice and simple um, you can see where the little clip sits there and then once you have a look inside the actual plug when you lift that you can see it actually moving I've already loosened these uh, five mil Allen keys, there's two here so you just need to get a little socket on there and a, and a ratchet pop those off and also at the side here you've got a coolant pipe which sits in uh, with a clip so just uh, pull that off as well and then this becomes the tricky part then once you've got that out this will be a lot more secure than mine at the moment because as I said I've already broken my dipstick tube but you can try and be extremely careful and try and kind of prise this out of here it gets quite tricky when you've got uh, this sensor set right here as well so that will come off something like that obviously probably be a bit harder on your one because you haven't taken it out yet but <coughs> that comes off <coughs> right now because I'm going to replace my dipstick tube you can see there it's looking pretty sorry for itself just snap it right off it's just going to get in the way Right, so I'm just going to uh, finish up on this video for um, placing your dipstick tube. So um, here's the new one I've got, genuine one. So it's a 06A103663B. Um, so it's pretty much be the same for most of the 180 uh, engines. Um, so yeah, so what I need to do is is break off all of that bottom bit there. Um, which is effectively this clamping bit. Let's get this out. So it's basically it's just that that's uh, left. So you can see kind of what that looks like. So it just kind of pushes on and clips in. So um, it'll go in like that. So I just need to break all of that off. So you can be as rough as you like really if you really want to get in there with it and just smash it off. But I'm going to try and be quite careful because what, what I don't want to do is um, get lots of bits of plastic down inside my actual dipstick. So I'm going to try and avoid that as best possible. So a couple of tools that I'll, I'll use I'll show you. Hopefully give it a good go. Uh, but something like this, this is normally used for taking out uh, spark plug HT leads. Um, thing out like this. Moving on it now. There we go. So that's 
that's off. See we've lost a little bit. It's just left inside the dipstick tube, so I'll use a nice little pick and try and get that out. I mean, chances are, if I was really lucky, I perhaps, perhaps may have been able to get that out in one, but for the uh, price of it, no point messing around. So I'm now just going to try and fish out anything that's left in there. A little bit dropped down there, so I'm not worried about that. Turn off a bit. So now it looks pretty clean. I'm just going to uh, put my finger in there. Make sure. Now, just want to check these two, make sure they're the same. So what I don't want to do is find out that it doesn't fit. That's it, push that on. Didn't give me a firm clicking noise, but there we go. So I just felt that clip over. Beautiful. Now if you do need to make a slight adjustment, you should be able to just twist it a little bit, but mine looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna finish up now and put the rest of the bits back. So dipstick tube new tubes back on so what I need to do now is go ahead and put the rest of these uh, bits back so what I want to do is now just get this all kind of lined up where I'm going to need it so it's a bit awkward this because um, I also need to get this in just be very careful Put in there now. So just 5mm Allen key.
little nip up. Beautiful. So that's that all back in place. Uh, next part then, don't forget your pipe at the end here. Clip that back in at the side. That's back in. What we've got to do now is put that little trim back. There we go, beautiful lipstick. There we go. So that's all back, nice new dipstick tube. Beautiful water, that is back on. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a clean up and then uh, I'll check to see if it's running okay and it's actually uh, working.